Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. Today we will be showcasing yet again 10 brand new cards to the game. Kicking it off at number 1, we have Tiptozer. Despite having only 20 buffiness at level 2, Tiptozer is completely unaffected by your opponent's basic events and basic circumstances. This is a great minion to play if your enemies love being the eventful type of player throughout the game. At number 2, we have Chomper. It may not look too impressive at first, but this lizard can take a hit. Every time it will be dealt buffy damage, 5 of that buffy damage is negated. All you need to do is buff this guy up, and it will be an unstoppable machine. At number 3, we have Flasher. Another guy on the weaker end of the spectrum, Flasher has the ability to be immediately played in a Clashington your opponent has called for a Clash. So if you're dragging behind in a certain Clashington, this guy can help put some buff on the field, and quick. At number 4, we have Scrambush. A 1 action cost basic event, Scrambush deals buffy damage to an opponent's minion equal to the buffiness of all level 1 minions you control in that Clashington. Although you cannot call that Clash that turn, it is a great way for little minions of yours to take down a bigger baddie. At number 5, we have Silly Whiff Sand. Although not a permanent solution, right timing can make Silly Whiff Sand your best friend. Its ability to make an opponent's minion unconscious until the end of your next turn can surely come in handy. At number 6, we have Spirals Mark the Spot. Definitely a strange card to say the least. Spirals Mark the Spot rewards you for having unconscious minions. If you have a unique style of play that can fulfill the circumstances requirements quick, it's surely a must have. At number 7, we have Spit Seeder, a unique variant of Flower Bunny. Spit Seeder proves its worth as long as you barrage the opponent with events. If you also have ways of buffing up its tokens, Spit Seeder can cause clashes to be called much quicker. At number 8, we have Wind Insurance. Successful in your tactics, Wind Insurance comes in handy if you are, allowing you to draw 3 cards if you have won a clash in another Clashington. Remember though, this card cannot be played if you haven't won a Clashington. At number 9, we have Unsurance. Perhaps you like playing the underdog or just play insufficiently? No worries, Unsurance is here to help out by letting you place 2 cards from one of your inactive Clashingtons back into your hand. And last but definitely not least, and as a little special treat, we have Jankosaurus. A level 2, 25 buffiness, VIP Lizard minion, Jankosaurus lets your buffy damage, dealing cards, and effects have a little more kick. Make sure to keep this guy conscious, for he can definitely make everything else unconscious much quicker. We hope you guys enjoy these 10 brand new cards, and as always they will be uploaded to the Dropbox upon release of this video. Make sure to keep a lookout for other potential videos in the next monthly update, which will be coming up in early May. Until then, we wish all of you Clash Commanders out there the best of luck, and keep on clashing.